Uh, was not expecting that the moment I came out of there. What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistrina One, your host here, and welcome. So, man, I, I tell you what, you know, it's been... I can't believe it's been this long, but I've really never played Grand Theft Auto Online. I think I played it once back when it originally came out, when I did my original walkthrough for the Xbox 360. You might even be able to find one of those videos on the channel if you search way back in 2013. But other than that, I've never really played Grand Theft Auto Online. Now I know that there are so many people that have played it, that love it, that live by it, that swear by it, and they play it every single day. There's still new content coming out every single day for this. And I thought, you know what? It's the perfect time, it's the perfect opportunity since the brand new next-gen version, so-called, <laughs> came out. So we're playing the PlayStation 5 version. Make sure you check out my Let's Play for Grand Theft Auto 5 as well that I've been doing on the channel. Um, I'll make sure I have that linked in the information bar at the top right of the video. You can click that or you can check out in the description. But with that being said, I just, I want to try it out. I want, I want to go into it and I thought, why don't we do a video for it so you guys can see it in the highest of quality and just exactly how it plays. And it's been a while since we've done a video on the channel. We've been doing a lot of live streams and I've kind of... Uh, you know, with everything going on health-wise and stuff with the family, it's been a little hard to do videos. So, it's kind of nice to do a little video uh, for a change. So, we'll see how much interaction this gets from you guys. Uh, make sure you let me know what you think of Grand Theft Auto in the comments below. Like, what's your thoughts on it? Did you play it when it first came out? Are you still playing it? Do you refuse to play it? Do you think Rockstar has milked this game to the bone? Let me know. I want to know your thoughts in the comments so we can all talk about this. But... You're going to get the chance to see me really play it, essentially for the first time, because I don't remember anything. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into Grand Theft Auto Online. Don't forget to leave a like, helps the channel. Let's keep this channel going nice and strong. Congratulations, you have been awarded four million to kickstart your first criminal career. Maybe I want to be a good guy. Why does it have to be a criminal? So I've never seen any of this, I can tell you that for sure. Um, Alright, so we've got ex Executive. Lead a skyscraping criminal empire. Employ other players as bodyguards and fund your opulent, opulent lifestyle by trading contraband. Gunrunner. Make your fortune in illegal arms trade, manufacturing military grade weapons. From your underground bunker. Nightclub owner, open a nightclub and turn it into the hottest party in town while using it as a front for managing your shadier income sources. Ideal for anyone looking to expand their business empire in the future. And biker, form a motorcycle club with up to seven other players, hit the road, carry out deadly contracts, and run black market businesses statewide. My gosh, um, I really don't know which I want to do. Why don't we just start with the nightclub owner? I think that's the, the coolest, shadiest... Well, that would probably be the shadiest one, but... Yeah, let's go with nightclub owner. Iconic streets of Mission Row, with the Red Hot Avenue, superstar DJs filling the floor. Uh, let your club rock the people. This one... You know what? I'm gonna go with this one right here. Okay. Alright, we got our nightclub. Upgrades. So we get staff upgrades, uh, outfit, male dancers, uh, male and female dancers, uh, 
I don't even know what I want to do here. Um, well, the most expensive one is that one. I mean, maybe we should get something with male and female dancers, right? Security upgrade, grandier outfits. Yeah, we'll go with this one. We'll, it's a both male and female dancing, I guess. So fun for everyone, right? All right, vehicles. Obviously, we only have a million three left, or a million one. Uh, so let's go simple. Ooh, dang, I want that bike. Holy crap, do I want that bike. Some pretty nice vehicles here, though, for sure. You know I gotta go for this guy. Come on. It's like, it's calling to me. Let's see here. We got a marksman rifle. That's probably a really good weapon there. 160,000 left. Dang, that looks super cool. Ooh, that's... interesting. Proximity mines, pipe bombs... Uh, we're gonna go for what I originally saw. I like this. Summary, there we go. Alright, start our career with 144,000 remaining. Let's go time. Alright, so it's pretty much the same, just as it was in Red Dead Redemption 2 when you're creating your new character. Alright, so we went through the process of creating the character. Obviously, I'm, I'm going to show all of that stuff. But you got a lot of choices to choose from, and uh, this is what we came up with. So hopefully you guys like the look. Let me know what you think of the look in the comments below, and let's get right into it. Enter our character's name. What are we going to call him? We're going to call him, let's see here, um... Alright, we're going to call him McCready. I <laughs> call <laughs> McDonald's. I know that's probably not how you spell it, but we're going to go with McCready. Kind of uh, taking that from... One of my favorite John Carpenter's movies called The Thing. Although I'm sure I didn't spell it right, but here we go. See you soon. Oh wow, so you're just coming out of prison for no reason? I wish I knew a little bit of the backstory. That's what I'm talking about. Notice how you move so much faster when you're in first person. So there's no story going in or anything like that? What the hell? Uh, was not expecting that the moment I came out of there. Alright, we got a test message from our mechanic. So let's take a look at it. Text message. Hey, boss. Great, you're finally out. Look, I've dropped your wheels nearby to help you get around. Call me if you need any help with your vehicles. I'm still listening under... Still listening under a mechanic on your phone. Alright, looks like my vehicle is stowed all the way over here. Can we not get hit by a car this time? People have all the money in the houses. The rest of us, we just kiss their ass. What apps? Well, at least she's honest about it. All right, here we go. Look at this bad boy. Maybe I'm gonna find a Kavgari diamond right on the street today. You never know what the day brings. Now we're playing with style. It's Lamar! Good to see you back on the streets. I heard you were up for release and stashed 
them pieces for you, alright? I'll go and pick them up. I'll tell you what though, man, the sense of driving and, and first person view has always been great. Weapon stash. Well, it's not good when we got baller country. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have to get our hands dirty, but we don't have. I don't have any. Uh, gonna have to go in. You know, maybe they won't see me. I'm being stealthy right now. Yo, check it out. We got to bounce, man. Oh my god. Thanks for not caring, guys. Nice. I ain't dropping no money. Just shoot enough of them, make your point. Get going. All right, leave the area. I like how they put us right on Grove Street. To switch to drive-by controls. You sure you won't be coming at me, Ballas? I didn't think so. I tell you what, though. Online looks significantly different. Like, it does definitely does not look as good as the main story, in my opinion. After been playing the, the, the new next-gen version for a while, I can easily tell that. Well, I would say we left the area. Uh, Alright, Tony the Prince. Is this gay Tony? Uh, or no, my name, what? Tony Prince, never mind. Uh, listen, I won't pry into your past. Nightclub, call them over as soon as you can. Let's start partying. Alright, let's do it. Of course, we don't got the radio on. All music is off, so... Just to protect the channel. And, wow, dude, you really... Where was your turn signal? Why wasn't your turn signal on? I'm no, I'm coming after him. Screw that crap, dude. Who does this guy think he is? This guy right here, huh? Get away with this. I think I got him. 
All right. I just had to make sure I let him know what was real. I see. You know what? In this anything could really happen, man. That's just one one thing about GTA is that you could be doing something and all of a sudden you get hit by someone or whatever. It just you never know what's gonna happen. All right, enter the nightclub. Actually, it's probably a good idea to... I'm guessing this would be my garage then, right? No? Here we go. Alright, enter your nightclub. Live event, people! We need lights! Where's the light man? Brian! Give me a fucking spotlight! Alright, let's run through this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness live television entertainment in front of your very eyes. This is Famer or Shame Live with your host, Laszlo! He does that, and then... Shit! Ow! And then I run on, and everybody claps, and then I go, it's time to introduce the guests. And then, where's my assistant with a list of guests? Hello? If you pull that pregnancy pity party on me one more time, I will lose my cool, okay? Tony, your friend's here. All right, thank God. Brilliant. That's a wrap. Piss off, Laszlo. What? This is a nightclub. This live version of an awful TV show is not happening. Not, not, but Tony... Oh, but Tony, please, nothing. We have a new landlord. We're going back to what we do best, playing loud music, encouraging awful behavior, dancing until dawn, and having personal crises like good, God-fearing idiots. Tony, please, I'm desperate. <laughs> Listen, I love narcissism. I built a career on narcissism. I stare into the mirror and beat off like a real man. I pose, I preen, but there's a limit here. I cannot, I will not, Sit here and watch it. We need kids, young people, midlife crisis divorcees, whoever's gonna bring the party. And we need them wasted, and we need them dancing! Not taking selfies with some fuckwits! I ran the fucking 1980s. I was the 1990s. And I'm back. Okay. Get me a DJ! But, Tony, I, I, I'm the DJ. <laughs> I'm the, no, you're not a fucking DJ. You're a dick. A, a dick? But, uh, Tony, I got you a bunch of celebs. I'm gay Tony. The gay Tony. I I'm knew a celebrity him. here. Me and him. But if you want to bring some famous people into the club, we will host them gracefully. Because I am favor and grace, and I am back. I got an investor. We're running shit again. I need a DJ. <laughs> I've been high since 2010. What do these kids need nowadays? I I'm having a breakdown. <sighs> I'm too old. Me too. Yeah. Tony, can we hug? Yeah, yeah. Please. Sure, yeah. You shouted at me a lot. All right, all right. And, all right. and Tony, yeah. I don't think you can say gay Tony anymore. It's not PC. The internet will go crazy. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. <laughs> all right, all right. So English true. Dave. English Dave. He says a DJ to Booker. He's in the book. All right, come on, boys. Let me show you around. All right, listen, big guy, work your list of famous people. We're opening very soon. Okay, you got it. All right. I am going to fix this place up for you. You can do whatever you want down here. Literally, whatever you want. That's a gorgeous space. Plenty of room. Lots of storage. You can set up a hub for your other businesses. Why does this Maybe? feel like part of the know, squid game here? Saying, whatever you need, I know nothing. I mean, I know everything, but hmm. Make your way through there. You got a computer in there. You can bring another staff down here. Your whole entourage. Whatever you need. You sure know how to set that up. And upstairs... Upstairs is another office with a computer on the same network. You can run the club businesses out of that. And the interior team ready to move in. Ho oh, ho. And the name, Galaxy. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go. Amigo! <laughs> hey. Que pasa? Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. That's my new investor, English Dave. Uh, safe. Skin. Respect. Where well, you been, Tone? Long time, no power. Yeah, how's a kite, Dave, and curse and fate. And you? Oh, never better, old son, never better. <laughs> One love. Nose bag? Ah, oh, no, thanks. <laughs> ah, 
Suit yourself. <sighs> what can I do you for? We're reopening as a nightclub. <laughs> a proper underground dance music paradise. And what kind of crowd do you want in this uh, paradise? Uh, don't be judgmental, Dave. We're going to make this place amazing. I need people, you know, who know music. Club music. What you need, old son, is a European. <clears throat> Someone with savoir faire. Someone who can bring in the business. Let me see. <clears throat> no, not him. Not her. To open this dump, bring in a good crowd. Solomon. It's the proper shit. Great music, great crowd, and no cheese. Mmm, how much? Let me see what I can do. Daniel, his manager, owes me a favour. I've got a few other DJ ideas as well. One love. One love. Well, you've got to get to work. I'll stay here and oversee the improvements. You get us a staff and a sound system. Do you know Ritual Sacrifice? Festival out in the desert. Got to borrow some things from their socialist utopia. And staff, I've arranged to poach a few. It's all on the office computer. All right, so we've already met Laszlo again. And Gay Tony, what do you know? I didn't even know he was in this one. But it looks like our character doesn't talk again. Man, I wish they'd stop doing that. Let us talk. Whoa. Is my mouth moving while... How? Hello? What the heck is going on? How is how is my mouth moving when I talk? That is crazy. Like my mic is hooked up to my computer. So this has to be reading off of the controller's mic, I'm guessing. So that's probably why. i that's really cool. I like that. It's a little delayed, of course, but all right, so stand out of the crowd and name your organization. Hold to activate the interaction menu. And we need to name All right, so I guess management name. All right, choose a name for your organization. What organization? <laughs> An organization. Let's go with, uh... All right, D's nuts is what we're going to call our organization. <laughs> I don't know. I like to be stupid sometimes. Log in. Okay, so access the computer in your office upstairs. Log in and select a setup option to get started. All right. So we're going upstairs. This is your private office. Tony is already Tony Montana. Has already started renovating this area and shares this space with you. Yeah, because this was like empty just a few seconds ago. Work has also begun on the warehouse and garage space below the nightclub. Access these basement levels using the elevator. Log on your computer to access the nightclub management app and begin setup for the rest of your club. It's pretty cool. Like, I don't remember any of this when I first originally played. When did they add this stuff? This is, like, completely new to me. I don't remember Jack or shit. Crazy. I still love how my, my mouth is moving, like my character is really talking here, but yet no one can hear me or listen. Press X to access the nightclub management app. Access must be granted by Tony Prince. Please, com please complete the night sign up, nightclub setup. I wonder how many of you out there, let me know in the comments if you've never seen this new stuff before. If you're like me and you, the last time you played this was like... ...so, so long ago, let me know. 
Okay, here we go. Get us our staff. You can pick them up in any order. You're collecting our head bartender, the head of security, and front of house, and someone to run your warehouse. Bring them all in here, and we'll get it rolling. You got it, boss. I'll take care of it. Although I'm technically the boss, I guess. Alright, so we got a few people. So collect them and then transport them. Alright. Uh, we got one guy over here. Let's grab him first. My guess is since we're still in the intro... Uh, let me go to the map. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Yeah. So I forgot there's no, like, pausing in this game. Because it's online. But technically, there's no... I don't think there's any real people in here yet. Because... We're still in, like, the beginning tutorial section. So my guess is that this will start getting populated once... Or no, that might not be true. There is a white dot over there. Maybe there actually really is... People in this world right now. I want to know why we were in jail. That's what I want to know. Why did we all of a sudden start out of jail? Now, we did the same thing in Red Dead Redemption 2. But there was a... If I remember, there was a there was a reason we were in jail. I don't know the reason as of right now, unless I'm just uh, not remembering what it is. You looking for someone? Great, it's you. Okay then, good to be on board. What the hell are you doing back here, all these people, huh? That looks like Johan, your tech. He'll run the warehouse. You know, all your other businesses. It's an important part of the operation. The part that's paying the rent. He can plug into any manufacturing you have set up and bring it through our storage here. He's a clever boy. I can't believe I'm going to work in a dance club. Or a warehouse underneath a dance club. I don't even like dance clubs. But it sounds a whole lot cooler than a sorting warehouse. Or however else you'd explain this setup. All right, hopefully we're going the right way to get there. I guess technically there is no wrong way to do this. Although I'm starting to think that I cannot get there via here. Yeah. There we go. All right. That's, that's why it's always better to go ahead and, and do that. It, I, it really does feel a lot different than the single player game. A lot like emptier, not as many people. I'm sure it's meant to be that way. Dude's got some skills staying on the bike like that. My guess is it gave us this car because we started with a bike. Now, here's my interesting fact is like, with you can start some of the other different uh, things that you can do. So obviously instead of doing a nightclub, you'd be a biker. So this opening story would be completely different, right? I love that. That's Sweet, the greatest you know, horn ever. To be working your bar for you. And hey, I don't know you. That's, it's that's nice to meet you. That's the horn hey, from Grand Theft Auto three or four. That's great. You got Connie, the liquor lady, at the bar. We're keeping it simple: beer, shots, champagne, of course, and some really top draw whiskeys. 
This what about girl some caviar does dreams? simple better than anyone else in the business. Doing simple really fucking well is an art form. You'll see. So, uh, you're the mixologist? I'm the bartender. That's my the voice? Oh no, that's the I other guy. Okay, I was like, what? But it'll be the best damn shot of your short and meaningless life. Uh, okay. You like Solomon? The, the DJ? Yeah, yeah, he's great. But I'll be down in the warehouse mostly. Right. That's cool. All right, looks like we got one more of the staff to pick up. I mean, can I'm guessing you obviously should still be able to do things like heists in this game. It's so weird. You never started out with it with a job like this the last time I remembered. So, I'm just trying to wrap my head around you know, the difference from what I remember. All right, should be almost here. You total fucking idiot! Are you from the club? All right, let's go. Thanks for the pickup, Connie. <laughs> love you, girl. And nice to meet the two of you. Hey, stranger. I'm Johan. Is Marcel on board? He'll handle all security and the whole front of house setup. Used to be I would work the velvet rope, but that's a young man's game. Marcel here has a laser eye for good people and bad. He'll make sure all the right kids are coming in and the wrong ones are staying out. Hey, look, this is it. All right, level two. Oh wow, level 5 already. I'm a thug! Congratulations, you're taking your first step and you're opening your nightclub and you can now explore Primo to discover the various opportunities available to you. This session is now open and joinable by other players. Got the new security system online, boss! Alright. For the nightclub, you need to collect the remaining equipment and hire a DJ. You can log back in the community time to continue setting up your business. I see. So there's a lot of... A lot of things that you clearly have to do... Before you can really say that you've got this nightclub thing set up. Okay, okay, we've got our core team. Now, if we can just get that audio equipment, we can finish setting up this place. When you're ready, Come and access the computer. All right, let's set up equipment. Okay, head out into the desert. Like I said, we need to borrow some equipment from this festival ritual sacrifice. I don't know if these guys are dorks, DJs, or doomsday preppers. Probably all of the above, but they've got a killer speaker system, and it's on wheels. The crew is having a bit of a festival wind-down party, so get over there and get the system, and maybe try not to kill anyone. I've got enough angst as it is. So, I'm sure you guys see why... Uh, my the mouth was moving? That's because it's definitely coming from the microphone, because the voice is also coming from there as well. The reason I came in here is, isn't this where my vehicle's supposed to be, or no? That's... a little different. Oh, I see what this is. Okay. Alright, so no, it's not like I thought. Alright. Um, I guess my bike just disappeared for whatever reason. I'm not sure where to get it from. Yep.
All right, so it just looks like I got to figure out where that bike went because I have no clue right now. I guess we're just going to have to take any random vehicle. Can you spawn a vehicle? Inventory... Vehicles. Request personal vehicle. Delivery in progress. There it is. Alright. Figure that out. Alright, we gotta head to the uh, festival. This is gonna be a little bit of a long drive, so we're gonna go ahead and skip all that and get you right there. Could the power of editing compel you? I have been compelled. Alright, so we're here. Let's do what we gotta do. Go to the festival. Collect the music equipment. Now, you don't hear any sound because obviously we've had to turn it off. Makes sense, I'm sure. Do I literally just take the bus? Are you kidding me? Because that would be just hilarious. Oh my gosh. Motherfucker! Your mother should have followed you! Sorry, Mom! Well, how in the hell do you expect me to... I think I missed my opportunity right there. No! That would have sucked. Woman, I think you're walk- Oh my god, do we really can't? Or maybe we can. Ah, strain, what are you doing? We did it! Alright! <laughs> Don't ask me how. But we made it work. Let's get this... <laughs> Let's get this vehicle back on. Alright, so we're here and trying to navigate this thing through these streets here with all the stuff following off is kind of hilarious. But we made it. And it's so funny because everywhere you go, you just watch online players killing every ch everybody. <laughs> it's... <laughs> alright, alright, right, lift it up, a little bit, a little bit, yeah, oh, perfect, 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 alright, come here, look at this, I love it. Galaxy, what do you think? I think it's 100! <laughs> oh, Woo! what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm seeing tracers. I am the opening DJ, get the crowd bumping, get the millennials boys with the wooka 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 wooka! <laughs> Go away! What? Go get me some celebrities for opening night. Put them up in the VIP lounge if you have to, but you will not be DJing! Ha-ham! <laughs> My glow stick! Oh. Now, let me show you what we got ready for you. Come downstairs. Now remember, I do not nor want to know what's going on down there. I will plead absolute stupidity. But, if you need my help, anytime, count on me. Now, this place is fully operational, huh? I don't do the tax returns, and I don't deal with whatever goes on down here. Now, I'm just a club manager, but if you happen to, say, fill it with some, uh, various products of your illicit businesses, I could probably help you sell them. Hmm? All, right, all right, now, everything else on the computer over there, and in the office. Shall we head upstairs? Here's our private office. The computer where you'll run things, and my desk is over here. Hear no evil, see no evil. Good. Yeah. Right. Let's go get a quick drinky at the bar. Brave. Brave, mate. Think of nothing. Absolutely nothing. And brave. Ain't it amazing? Hello, Tone. Ah. Sniff. Ah, no thanks. Hey, baby. Four shots. Good news. 
The big European is on the wing. Private, of course. Spared no expense, as you're paying. Well, it was a cheap plane, but whatever. Should we go and pick him up? And when you get back, we shall have ourselves a little party. Yeah. Here's to Galaxy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll see you shortly. You all right, Laz? A little fucked up. <laughs> Wow, look at how many people have been just killing each other while we've been gone. All right. Solomon's coming to LSIA. Let's get out there. All right. We'll see you there. This city don't know what's about to happen to it. Solomon, our Slavic savior. There will be river. Man. There will be groove. And above all else, there will be feels. No one does emotional like that Balkan beast. Believe! Bring the tears to check! No! <laughs> A two hour Solomon set's done more for me than ten trips to rehab. And I don't know how long on that couch talking to a head shrinker. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. Let's get started. Hey, look, what are you doing with that place? Galaxy? Proper naughty. About time, too. Los Santos needs some nightlife. I mean, as much as I love hitting the toot with lonely old rich guys in their hills, but it's getting a bit boring, isn't it? Not very spiritual. Somewhat lacking in the old transcendental power of a bunch of nutters giving it some. Sweating on the dance floor. Solomon's melod... Hey, hold on. Solly! I think we see your plane coming in. What do you mean he's Mr. Runway? No, he can't be passed out. Not with all them uppers in his system. Get up there and do something. Push some buttons. Jesus, Dave, there's so many buttons. Just press one. It's what you do for a living. Uh, I'm a DJ, not a fucking pilot. Go on, you, you've got this, my son. Make me proud. Whoa! Santa's not making me very proud! Oh, okay, don't worry, I'm back. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, okay. okay. I'm, I, I got it, I got Whatever it. Whatever you press before. Alright, okay, cool. Don't press it again. Okay. Hey, Proper bad juju, mate. We might be about to lose our DJ. Follow that private jet! Downtown! Head downtown! Solomon. You're gonna need to get it together, old son. Where is the man I love? Cool as a cucumber, while the rest of us are losing it. Getting proper rowdy. That's the Solomon on me right now. The miracle worker. The man who saved my bacon and my soul. Take control, soul. You got this, boy. Lovely, lovely. You up there? Very nice. Now, you watch telly, don't you? Streaming, whatever. Then you've seen it done a million times. Grab the stick and act like you know what you're doing. Oh, come on. Really? What? Shit. You all right? Oh, thank God for that. Now, you know what not to do, okay? Point the stick again and keep the sky up there. The earth down here, eh? He's over Legion Square. Easy does it. All right. Easy does it. Mellow vibes. Keep it proper mellow, mate. Fucking chill. Monday afternoon on the beach. Recovery mode. Dreamscape. Pan pipes. Know what I mean? Now give the pilot a kick, all right? All right, I'm Still trying out. to get there, man. Bollocks.
Okay, it's not letting me do it anymore. I'm guessing it's this way, yeah. Okay, I think we're coming back. We're coming back. Should literally be right in front of us, or close... Close in front of us. I th it's gotta be him, that little thing in the sky, right? I'm pretty sure that's him. Yes. Psycho. Shit! He's almost at Sandy Shores! The maniac's going for the airfield! Solly is playing a blinder here! I'd say I did a pretty good job. Hey, oh. Solomon! Roger, Moy, Dave, where did you find the pilot? Ah, top of the range he was, son. No expense spared. Come here. I told you you were a miracle worker. <sighs> Let's go work some more. <laughs> Twat. Right, driver. Drive on! My driver, do you know who I am? Let's I'm get to the, the owner of this Show nightclub. You alright, son? To be honest, Dave, that was pretty intense. That's it, big man. What well, doesn't kill you, right? I've never been in a plane crash, I grant you, but I've had some bad trips, me, and I always find the spiritual path. Next time you hire the pilot, see how you like being in a plane crash. He was excited to see you, so you may have overindulged, is all. You have that effect on people. They get intimidated. Anyway, bygones and all that. Have a glass of wine, put some tunes on, hit a vape. It's legal after all. You'll be right as rain. <laughs> no, no, I'm cool, okay? Excited to play it as. Hey, you met this guy. Owns Galaxy. I thought it was Tony. Ah, Tony's the looks. This one's the brains. Good to meet you. You must be pretty cool. Coolest cat in town. Genius brain, too. Just look at them there, thinking. Ah, you guys will get along swimmingly. Let's have some fun. It's going to be good. I got a good feeling about this. Yeah, me too, me old mucker. Me too. I do find it kind of funny that that I'm a nightclub owner, but I have to turn all the music off. <laughs> In a way, you wankers are lucky, right? Didn't have dance music culture to begin with. Couldn't see it go to shit. London. The state of London, mate. Every decent venue stripped out, turned into a sushi joint. Can't eat a spider roll without staring at some exposed brickwork I chucked up on in the early 90s. My bat suits. Oh, they were some good pills, but Christ alive, did they make me chuck it. Alright, looks like uh, we're getting higher and higher. Our levels are growing up. I think I've been lucky that no player care player has tried to kill me yet. Cause I, I swear like every two seconds someone is killing someone. Hey, and here we are. Me Casa, Su Casa, their Casa. They don't know what they're in for. Come on. Let's do it. Alright, follow me. Right this way. Okay, make way for talent. 
celebrity a walking. <laughs> hey, mind how you go, Twinkle Toes. Just down here. Here we go. Very Watch good, out, mate. old Bean. <laughs> Solomon, hey. baby! Come here! Oh! Yeah, sorry my flight was delayed. He's a little shaky, but he's gonna be all right. I'm sorry I never met you, but I'm a massive fan. Massive fan! Yeah. Me too! Uh, Solomon! Oh, Vigates! Actung! Yo, I've got some serious ED. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you do. No, no, no! EDM! EDM! I made a whole USB of tracks that I produced. <laughs> this is Laszlo. High 10! <laughs> too slow! Uh, wait! Come on! Right, shall we? I'm a DJ too. I, I spend a lot of you know, birthday parties for kids to make extra money. I'm because uh, I can't always pay my rent because I live in, in a mansion. I'm a baller. Uh, uh, I'm not desperate. I'm a I'm a celebrity. People love me. Come on. I love big pretzels like you people. Ah, here it is. We've done it. The party. We got Just the imagine some party. music playing we in the background and we'll make it more party. fun. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, have a good time. Enjoy yourself. You deserve it. And downstairs, fully operational. Whatever you want. Hey, baby. That's a nice dress. Yeah, the time is flesh and latex. Let's go. And I ran. I ran so far away. I just ran, yes, 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 I ran mom. all night Jesus. and day. Tonight, at the opening of Galaxy! Yeah, Los Santos has finally figured out how to party again. You're gonna join me, DJ Laszlo, in welcoming my very best friend. I discovered him in Ibiza, which is in the Netherlands. The set was amazing. He is starting his first ever residency in the United States in this club. All right? Please, all of you, give it up for the one, the only, Solomon! It's so funny without music, this man. Guy. It makes it even better, I think. <laughs> let me know if you want me to MC. Uh, let me think about it. Okay, great. He wants me to beatbox. I'm going to fucking get laid. I'm going to be down here with the chicks. Fucking grinding, bro. Molly, bro. <laughs> Molly! <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Yeah, baby. Oh. Good to see in here. Tap X in the beat to build intensity. So I don't even hear the beat because I don't have the music on. So it's even more funnier. Oh my god, I love you guys! I'm just going based off of my own timing. Perform action dance style, give it some. Let's see. Zoned in, baby. I'm gonna turn the music on just for a second. And see what's actually playing. That's hilarious. All right, I don't want to get. I don't know. I don't know if it's copyrighted or not, but I feel like it would be. I'd be an idiot to to even try it. At least it was fun. I mean, that's pretty cool, though. We got we got male. We got female dancers. Everyone's having fun. We created this. This was all because of us. Gotta feel accomplished, right? You all having some fun? You could still hold this to dance? <laughs> Hold on. 
I keep seeing something that says X, and then it goes away. Okay, there. Oh, basement levels. I see. Yeah, because we're back out here. Okay, cool. I gotta say, this has been pretty, uh, pretty unique. So press X, uh, to watch the DJ live stream. Okay, this is pretty cool. Of course, it would be so much better if I wasn't afraid to turn the music on, but... That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, right. welcome to club management for the internet banking age. In my day, you did this with a rotary phone and some chutzpah. Now it's graphs, clicks, and metrics, and you'll know you're broke and washed up before anyone's even walked through the door. Thank you, Data, for taking the joy out of life. If you've got half a brain, you'll know what's happening just by walking around the place. But this home screen will show you the club's popularity and the warehouse's stock in nice, easy-to-understand charts, like you're an idiot or an investment banker. For the club, popularity means feet are coming through the door. There's cash in the tills, and everyone's happy. For the warehouse, your techs will push your other businesses to generate illicit goods, and they'll all get stockpiled in here, your whole criminal empire under this one roof. The techs do the work buying, stealing, or producing, and all you need to worry about is selling the stuff, offloading illegal product, and bringing in nice, legal, laundered cash. Here's where you book the talent. Any DJs Dave is talking to will show up here. Then you can choose who you want in residence. Solomon is killing it up there right now, but if you feel like you need to freshen things up, there are some options. I mean, that's pretty cool. Again, I'm not going to play any of the audio stuff, but... Nightclub management. Come through to the nightclub management tab and you'll see some more numbers if that's your kind of thing. But more importantly, you can run promotions for the club by hitting, you guessed it, Promote Club. The staff, the DJs, me, will all be doing everything we can to run a banging night. But to get the buzz, increase popularity, and bring in cash, we'll need to promote it. Run a job and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, good to see you're doing something to keep this club running. The DJs play, I do my thing, Laszlo does his, I suppose, if that's a thing. And you've got to make sure Galaxy hey, is the name on everybody's lips. You'll be spraying the word, keeping booze costs down, bringing the right people in, and keeping the wrong people out. And any of these jobs will have a direct effect on how well we're doing. I promise you. So... Alright, so it looks like this is one of those, uh, place... Oh, it's a timed mission. Well, let's go ahead and bring up our app. Vehicles, personal vehicle. Let's get these posters. Dude just appeared like out of thin air, man. Look at that dude, 
All right, ladies and gents, we've skipped ahead to the eighth and final location here. As you can see, it took a little bit of time to do all of this. As all the places were pretty much equally spread out, so... Definitely took a little bit of time, but we were able to finally get it done. Eight posters complete. No reason showing you every single one of them. There you go. So as you can see, we are building our Empire one stage at a time. Our popularity has increased. We got our first amount of money, which was $5,000, it looks like. And there you go. You can see there's other missions here that are available for you to do. Like, here's one right there. Maybe, uh... Different missions that you can do, clearly, obviously. But alright. Well, guys, that's gonna be this first video for, um, Grand Theft Auto Online. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you play this again? Let me know in the comments below if you continue to play this or if you don't play Grand Theft Auto anymore. And let me know if you want to see another video on this, another live stream, or something like that. Let me know as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm excited to, uh, to continue if you guys want to see more. It's all going to be up to you. Let me know in those comments below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. The Peace. flight posters are everywhere. Three decades and two septums into this job, and it still excites me seeing them. I feel like a kid again. Good work.